G'day ladies and gentle tubers. So a close friend of mine found this antique rotodial elephant phone. This beauty is made from solid brass and is in really good condition apart from the fact that it's only good as a paperweight. So I'm going to tidy up the old boy and turn it into a Bluetooth receiver that can link up to a mobile phone. From what I can tell, the handset, speaker and microphone and all of the other phone mechanisms are working perfectly. So I only need to strip it down to accommodate the parts which are going to convert it into the Bluetooth receiver. Once dissected, the old boy shows us this internal mechanism for electronics as well as the original plug for a wall outlet, the handset is nice and original, it doesn't appear to be solid brass but cast something else coated in brass. These bells are used to running on 50 volts but will run fine from a 5 volt USB power source and I won't be messing with the rotodial mechanism unless it needs work. The cradle for the handset houses a spring-loaded mechanism or micro switch to allow you to hang up and receive calls. The spring for this mechanism is a little bit weak but we're going to just use it as is for now and fix it later if it needs it. Other than that, there's a whole lot of space inside this old phone for the mechanisms we're about to put in. I'm going to be using this old bulky X-Link unit, but there is a smaller one available and I will be leaving links in the description below for you to find your own. I've removed all of the outer housing so it fits within the Elephant and double-sided taped a rechargeable battery pack to the back of it. This will allow the elephant to be completely wireless and able to be moved around the house or in my friend's case, his RV. The battery pack is charged via USB-C and the Bluetooth link is powered by 5 volts which comes from the PCB of the Bluetooth link and plugs via USB back into the battery. This is the most convenient way I've found to make him wireless and chargeable. Finally the old wall plug simply plugs into the Bluetooth link and straight away I get dial tone in the earpiece. I then shove the whole assembly inside this gauze bag that came with the battery so that I don't get any shorts from the PCB board against the sides of the brass elephant interior. Then it's just a matter of stuffing the poor old boy full of all of these new electronics and buttoning him up. With the aid of a couple of zip ties, this whole thing goes back together really, really easily. I won't go through the gory details of how to link your mobile phone with a brass elephant as all these details are in the manual that comes with the Bluetooth receiver. Finally, my mate wants to keep the patina of the elephant and not have it all shiny and polished the way I'd like to have it. So I simply use a bit of Windex to wipe it down and get a little bit of shine without removing any of the tarnish. And there you have it, a K2 
cable free Bluetooth linked receiver for your mobile phone when you're inside. It works beautifully. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more content from Build Grow Play.